Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here. This is Daniel Rosal. This YouTube channel focuses on technology uh, with a really strong focus recently on audio and video production. I want to talk today about how or give two tips for folks who are trying to edit in Caden Live on their laptop without losing their mind in the process. So I love Caden Live. It's a cross-platform video editor, but particularly popular with the Linux uh, user base, people on Ubuntu and other distros. Um, it's really good. It has a lot of features without necessarily getting into the kind of complication of DaVinci Resolve and more kind of Hollywood studio grade editors. Um, when I'm home in this delightful home office where I shoot a lot of these videos, um, I edit uh, my videos on a really decent desktop computer. It has a really good GPU and therefore the rendering process is actually pretty easy. However, anytime I work on my laptop, I can't believe how slow and tedious the process is. If I had money growing on a tree outside the window here, I would definitely upgrade to a video editing laptop. But given that I really only edit videos on my laptop a few weeks a year when I'm traveling, at the moment, I just can't really justify the investment. I'd rather put money into my desktop uh, than into something I only use, you know, when I'm traveling. I've kind of come across, a, I've figured out a couple of things you can do that are going to help uh, make the process less tedious. The first thing is using uh, proxy clips. If you have decent hardware, you can get away without using proxy clipping on a desktop. But if you're working on something that doesn't have a really good de dedicated GPU, uh, you can reduce a lot of the lag during the editing process by enabling proxy clips. So you want to go into the uh, configuration options in Caden Live and turn on and turn on proxy clipping, and just make sure you tick that box that says generate proxy clips for clips with X pixels or greater, and set it to something below your shooting resolution. So if you're shooting 1920 by 1080p full HD video, right? set that number to 1000 because every clip you're going to be uh, dragging into your timeline is going to have more than 1000 pixels and therefore uh, Caden Live is going to uh, generate a proxy a proxy of that. Something I found, some people say Caden Live is kind of buggy, it tends to crash. What I found is best is import your clip library to Caden Live and let it do the proxy clip generation process don't touch it during that period. I, I know this isn't ideal, but it is what it is. What it is. Um, the process of Caden Live converting all your full clips and making proxy clips out of them does put a bit of a strain on the CPU. If you open a resource monitor, you can see that strain. So don't overtax your system and just let it be, let it be for a few minutes, then save your project after you've got those proxy clips generated and that's going to, in my experience anyway, reduce the strain and uh, reduce crashes. Final tip number two is when you're editing your project. In general, I try to use on my desktop the fastest rendering process possible. I crank up the speed to full. I use as many threads as I can on my CPU. And that's fine if you have, you know, a decent spec PC with a good amount of RAM or whatever. If you're working on something less powerful, you want to take the opposite approach in order to minimize your risk of crashing. You want to slow down uh, the rendering speed. You want to go for a slower profile uh, and you want to, if you can tweak those CPU processes, if you're doing CPU rendering to use less threads, less cores, etc., cetera, uh, that's going to, again, reduce the overhead so that uh, there's less chance of crashing and the if you're using the computer for other things it's going to be more uh, more usable the downside of course of the slower rendering process is that this can take a lifetime so uh, you do sacrifice that so th these are the trade-offs that you can make if you're using a less powerful uh, laptop obviously if you can if you have the money to afford it uh, it's better to go with something uh, higher spec uh, uh, the best cpu you can afford so that you don't have to make these trade-offs uh, but if that's not an option for you these are two tips that should make a difference that rendering video on a laptop on Caden Live is not a hair extracting experience. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to get more videos from me on these tech subjects, especially related to uh, audio video and Linux videography, do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching today.